Pisces and welcome to your February 2018 reading and happy February 2018. And um, so this month your focus is going to be very much on, um, right, so 12th house, really interesting one always. You're going to be focusing on um, deep issues, those deep mysterious issues like karma and faith and those intangible things, um, your, your, the God of your understanding, all of those things, past family history even, secrets. So for you, this is going to be a time when you, what you really want to get right is your faith that things are going to work out okay or that they can happen just the way that you visualize them. I feel that that is a big one for you at the moment, that you're, a lot of you are manifesting up a storm, you are visualizing things, you're not just being passive, you're not just wishing, hoping, you are actually visualizing what you want and you are, you know, wanting to keep the faith wanting to keep the faith that it can happen, that it can be for you. And I want to reassure you that that is very much the case. The 12th house is also about karma. So you need to do things that will help you to release karma. And for some of you, that will be to meditate, to ask your angels and guides to help you to release the past, to release any past traumas that are impressing upon you. You might have practices that you do, you might have people you work with on releasing limiting beliefs or releasing um, blocks or working in your energy field. Um, but you really, really want to be focusing on cleaning up your act with regards to faith and letting go of any daily routines that keep you in a paradigm of fear or lack. So you are being asked to dream and that should come as, you know, that should be like music to your ears as a Piscean, that you're being asked to dream. I'm not telling anyone to go out there and be totally impractical and unrealistic and ditch this and ditch that and, you know, whatever, just go on the road or whatever. But you are being asked to put your focus and your energy on faith and on building your dreams and your dream reality, trusting in yourself, trusting that it's possible for you to achieve it. So there's stuff with, with that 12th house. Sometimes it's about, you know, the house of your undoing. It's about not believing it can ever happen to me. Nothing good ever happens to me. It's letting go of all of that and putting your faith in the idea that things can change miraculously no matter where you've been or who you think you are or what you think you've done in the past, what you think your karma is, what you think your patterns are that, you stuck in, that you're stuck in, what keeps repeating over and over again, things can change. And this month is all about you acknowledging that and taking it on board and deciding that that is going to be the reality for you, that things can change. And so what you need to let go of really is anything that stops you believing that. So if you have any habits, anything that you do to your body or your physical fitness that stops, that gets you out of that clarity of faith, that stops you from being positive when you wake up every day, they need to go. You need to rethink anything toxic that you're imbibing because you're extremely sensitive to those things at the moment and as a manifesting creator you need to minimize the impact of toxins while you are creating and um, and you are very much in that phase at the moment and while you're working on releasing karma and doing deep work deep inner work okay that might sound boring but what comes afterwards is wonderful okay so it's worth digging in and doing that work now because this is a very life-changing month for all of us and so I'm going to look at the cards and I'm going to do, see, that's a really difficult one to explain, that whole 12th house emphasis, but maybe not to a Piscean, you know, that whole, all those intangibles. But I think a lot of you are going to get it and you're going to be feeling some healing happening around that at this time. Okay, so we're looking at the first, second, first, uh, third and fourth, see, First, again, round and round in circles, round and round in cycles. This feels like it's you, you're in, like you feel like you're caught up on a wheel, but you are 
ascending. Every time you go through this process, it gets a little bit easier, a little bit easier every time. I was talking about something similar with um, my Buddhist group just recently, and uh, it's very interesting. We forget that we are transforming things through our experience every single time we go through the experience, okay? You can't possibly be not improving. We're never going backwards. We're always going forward. We're always getting better. We're always moving on to something better. We're always moving upwards. Okay, so, second, third, fourth. Okay, so, the first week, you are being asked to reawaken your passion. So this is where, again, we come back to surrendering, letting go of anything in your day-to-day -day reality that does not light you up, that, that takes you away from faith. If you're, you know, feeling miserable, if you're getting thrown off of your manifestations, if your pictures are not clear, if they're cloudy, if, you're, if they're full of self-doubt because you're turning up to do a grungy, horrible job that you cannot stand, so you cannot see yourself designing an interior or, you know, building a, a beach house or painting beautiful pictures or writing fantastic music or, you know, whatever it is, if you cannot see it because what you do on a day-to-day -day basis is dragging you into such a low vibration, then maybe you need to change the thing that you do on a day, to, like change the day job. Nobody's saying get rid of it, but something needs to be released in your day-to-day -day reality so that you can come back to full faith. So the other thing that you can do is reawaken your passion for whatever it is that you're really dreaming about doing. So you've been waiting now it feels like you've, there's been a period of hold up, there's been a period of, of uh, not quite going forward in the way that you thought you would. This is a universal vibration that a lot of us felt at the beginning of the year. For you it continues perhaps a little bit more in the first week of February, but that does give you time to um, dig in again with the things that you're really passionate about, the projects that you really do want to work on. You know, maybe get your get your paintbrushes out or whatever it is that you're working on. Working behind the scenes, the 12th house is very much working behind the scenes on something. You're not quite ready to show it to the world yet, but you're, you know, spiralling away there, working away at it, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's. Virgo's your opposite sign and you can have that tendency. So just enjoy that. It's still a very fertile period. It's not about waiting for things to happen. It's about making sure you've really got the right recipe okay it's about proving the bread before it goes into the oven it's all of those sort of metaphors it's all good second week second week you might be grieving over something you might be looking back over some emotional loss someone might be coming into your thoughts from the past or something that didn't quite work out the way that you would have liked it to is impacting on you somehow is is um impacting on your faith, your faith in um, bright things for the future, but it's covered by your career transition, which is what you must focus on. You must, must, must allow that to bring you back up into that higher vibration of thinking, because your manifestation is working. It's just that you need to throw that spotlight on your faith and let that carry you through. Okay, your third house. Oh, I love that. So, I mean, your third week, so third week and the number three, I think I just had three on the brain there, right? So then you've got rejoice in celebration. So the third week, you're going to be, have, you're going to have something to celebrate or you're going to ha decide to have a celebration, have people around you, friends around you, people you love, um, or some kind of connection, something that just feels good, that just takes your mind off things. It could be something of a romantic nature. It could be, you know, it could be anything at all that just makes you feel good, that, that just brings you out of yourself a little bit. Um, it could have something to do with your life purpose because you've got life review come with it. And it says take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything unbalanced. So it could be that you get some good news about a way that you can change your day-to-day -day reality. So if you start putting the feelers out, you know, early on in the month, 
and uh, focus, keep focusing on that career transition. It could be that by the time you get to the third week, you have something to celebrate, that you get a little bit of a win there, and something that reminds you that you can manifest things. You can man If you can manifest small things, you can manifest big things. It's all the same process. So, the fourth week. Okay, in the fourth week there is the possibility that you'll be tempted back into old thinking and old ways and that you'll think, no, I can't, I don't want it, I can't have it, it's not for me, I can't do this, I can't do this, good things don't happen to me, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> so you are being warned in advance that you might come to that place again and that when you do, what you have to do is focus on your passion because that's what will get you through. That's what will get you through this transition. That's what will get you back to celebrating because it's your passion that is forcing you to want to change things and it's your faith that can help you to change things. So when you manage to change things and you lose that faith and go back to old ways of thinking, go back to focusing on your passion and just do that as if you don't care what happens. Like dance like nobody's watching, you know? Love like you never got hurt. And just do the actual activity itself for the sake of it, for the joy of it, for the love of it. And you will find that things manifest again and they come round again and that you'll be given a second chance to adopt new thinking. So don't be hard on yourself. Remember that every time you go around this cycle, you are going up. Now you've also got clairvoyance here. And it's Archangel Raziel's card and it says, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So with that, you will also begin to see temptations and things that pull you off your focus and or off your path and things that are not real. So, you know, if you can see um, what positive energy that shows you the light, that shows you the path that you need to follow, you will also see any kind of deceptions or entrapments for what they are and you will in time begin to walk away from them and this I feel is going to be the message of February for you that if you get lost keep coming back to what you love and do what you love and forget that you're trying to create this big vision but when you do create the big vision and you start questioning whether you're going to allow yourself to have it or not try to see it for what it is and if you don't understand that you are learning that 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 is what this is all about you are learning how to trust yourself learning how to love yourself enough to have what you're manifesting and then you are learning how to see the traps that have been tripping you up lifetime after lifetime after lifetime and you will ascend them eventually I'm feeling this year is going to be a huge turning point for you and this February is the pivoting, uh, pivotal turning point for that. I'm going to just risk it and pull that top card because they're telling me. Shadow, yeah. Your shadow side, I mean what could be more perfect for all that 12th house stuff? That's, it's totally about the shadow. Work on that, do some work on that, get yourself a good practitioner to work with. Um, I'm just putting it out there. Let me know if you want to work with me. There's a link below the video. Um, work on those beliefs. Work on releasing. Work on transforming. I'm going to pick an angel card for you now. Clear sentience. Trust what you feel. You're all about feeling, Pisces. You can do this. You can unravel this. You can solve this riddle. You can have what you want. It's there. It's yours for the taking. And all this is... All this other stuff that doesn't look so great, it's just learning, okay? So have a fantastic February. It's going to be quite transformational. Take care. Bye.